They are mothers. My passion is, uh, I have to say, my kids. Models. And they were like, oh, you can never be a successful model because you're a black girl. Media moguls and movers and shakers. I rule the company with my head, heart, and hands. Women who rule the world. What do you rule? I rule Ann Taylor. I run PepsiCo. I am the Secretary of Health and Human Services. I rule uh, BET Networks. Right now, probably just my household. <laughs> and even my husband would probably question that. We sat down with some of Fortune Magazine's 50 most powerful women and their featured speakers, many of them CEOs, to get their take on the big issues, starting with any words of wisdom for President Obama. What do you think about the Obama administration's economic policies? Is it good or is it good for big business like yours? <sighs> mm. The health care reform is going to be tough for a lot of big businesses. This administration needs to do a lot more and understand business a little bit more. And I think with Larry Summers leaving and some of the other turnover in the White House, uh, maybe this is an opportunity to get more uh, business leaders involved in the discussion. Getting into the discussion has meant figuring out how to punch through the glass ceiling. I think I think slightly differently, but I think I think differently than other women, not just other men. Knowing your subject matter, being the expert. I bring a lot of emotion to work. I look at all of my employees in PepsiCo as members of my family. Defying people telling me that I couldn't do it, you know, and it's been like that throughout my entire career. And it used to frustrate me, and now it excites me. The excitement comes from following their passion. For some, it was instilled early in life. And my dad ran for office uh, when I was five, and I grew up thinking that's what people did. They, you know, went door to door, put up yard signs. I understand that you sold cupcakes for yeah. McGovern. I did. I did. I was about eight years old, and my parents were always very active in the community. For others, it was a hard-earned struggle to be on top. I was very strategic in figuring out how to break through. And I was like, just be yourself. Also being myself had to do with gaining a little weight. As mothers and wives, balancing professional success with family life means sacrificing. We've been married for 35 years and we're sort of now in a commuter marriage. I try to leave there by 5 or 5.30 at night because I really want to have dinner with my boys. So any advice to young women today? I think women have to be willing to take a few more risks. To not be ashamed of the dreams, not be ashamed to want to be the best. One thing they all have in common is they love what they do. To me, you know, when you're a CEO, and uh, I think it's true for all CEOs today, um, work is life and life is work. And we actually love it. I love my job. If your job is hanging out with P. Diddy, what do you do for fun? That's a good question. I guess my job is fun. You know, I, I enjoy it.